Water is considered to be the base of life on earth as the evolution of the living world had originated in it. Water is one of the chief components among others that have enabled the complex process of origin and flourishing of the living world. It has been proved that life without water is not possible. Water is also the chief component in plants. Almost 70% of the human body is composed of water and almost 90% of our blood is water. To maintain the necessary balance in their bodies, living beings need regular intake of water. On the other hand, plants comprise the chief component of the food chain and life cycles of most of the living beings on earth. Thus, there is a specific proportion of plants, animals and water in any given area of the Earth's surface. Moreover, along with this complex process of maintaining a specific proportion, there has to be the presence of necessary atmospheric temperature and several gaseous elements for the living world in a definite amount. A slight imbalance in the proportion of these elements in any given area will lead to imbalance in the natural system of the area. This may consequently lead to the extinction of a plant or an animal life in that area. Earth has come to this present state of balanced existence after having passed through several millions of years of evolution. The complex process of creation of this beautiful Earth is self-controlled. The temperature, humidity, water and atmospheric conditions of Earth vary from place to place which results in a corresponding variation in the flora and fauna of various places on the earth's surface. The 
flora and fauna possess specific traits that make them suitable for their specific natural habitats. The quantity of water present in a part of the Earth's surface is dependent on various causes and the chief among these is atmospheric temperature. Growth of human civilization through the passage of time is found to be water-centric and thus many big civilizations of the world had developed and grown by the rivers. Apart from the human race, the evolution of other animals has also been water-centric. All means and mode of human life are dependent on nature. The water that is necessary for the growth of nature in this earth comes from rainfall or underground water reserve. Human life and culture is also based on and developed around nature. Situated at the foothills of the Himalayas, the natural environment of Northeast India is unique and different from all other parts of the world. Northeast India is recognized as one of the biodiversity hotspots of the world as it is home to various rare and endangered species. The high quality of rainfall enjoyed by this region adds to the majestic presence of rivers, lakes, swamps, hills and mountains here. The region has become a rainfall area as it receives highest rainfall owing to the southwest monsoon rains from the Bay of Bengal which reacts with the temperature and humidity here. Chirapanji Meghalaya receives highest rainfall in the world. Assam receives an average annual rainfall of 200 cm. About 80% of the population of Northeast is dependent on agriculture and thus the monsoon directly affect their lives and activities. Rainfall ushered by the monsoon provides sufficient water to their agricultural fields. Since early times, Rainfall in this region has been influenced by the presence of the thick forest cover in the hills of the region. Like any other region of the world, this evergreen region too is now facing industrialization with a rise in population at present. But too much exploitation of nature leads to a negativity in the natural balance, which would have dangerous and far-reaching consequences in the future.
there is already a significant climatic change worldwide and according to data there is an increase of 74 degrees Celsius in Earth's average annual temperature during the last century. The scientists have inferred that the Earth's temperature might rise up to 5 degrees Celsius towards the end of this century. Significant changes in the climatic conditions of Earth have already been noticed in many parts of the globe. Scarcity of water has become a serious problem in the lives of the common man. There has been a drastic drop in the water level of the rivers during the dry season. The rivers that were once full of water has now become dry to the extent that some of them have now become pathways for traffic and transportation. The groundwater level has also fallen. These may be the effect of climate change which will create further serious problems in the lives of men as it has a direct effect on the water quotient of the globe. Future generations of men will have to face serious problems in life and livelihood with the growing menace of climate change. আমি কবিলি পৰিয়া মানুহ আৰু ইমান যে পানী হুকাইছে আৰু ইমান বালি পৰি গৈছে আগত তো এনেকে হোৱা নাই এতিয়া কিয় হৈছে এই কথাটো গম পোৱা নাই আৰু ৰাইজৰ চিন্তা হৈছে যে ইমান যে পানী হুকুৱাৰ কাৰণে ইয়াৰ ফল আৰু কি হয় আৰু এটো আৰু ইছৰহে কব আৰু Even the cultivators have realized that there has been a change in climatic conditions, though it has been rather slow. The evergreen notice too has witnessed the effects of climate change. The dry period of winter is gradually on an increase. There is now extreme of heat and cold weather conditions. Large areas of agricultural land are under drought which leads to hunger among farmers. The reason behind such problems is the rise of temperature in the Earth's atmosphere. It has been observed that the snow in the snow-covered regions of the world has started melting. It has been observed that the amount of snow in Kilimanjaro mountains of Kenya in 2002 up to the present decreased drastically compared to the amount found in 1912. Scientists are of the opinion that the melting of glaciers in the Himalayas will create floods in the northeast of India. Melting of snow will also lead to a rise in the water level of seas and oceans, thereby causing threat to the coastal regions 
which might be underwater then. Different regions of the world have now experienced the ill effects of this global rise of temperature in the Earth's atmosphere. In different international conferences on climate change, scientists have deliberated on the reasons behind the rise of global temperature. One of the chief reasons that have led to a rise in the global temperature is a gradual increase in the amount of greenhouse gas in the Earth's atmosphere. Greenhouse gases generally refer to carbon dioxide, methane, nitrous oxide together with ozone and other gases and water vapor. The presence of these gases in the atmosphere in their required specific quantities helps the Earth's atmosphere to retain its desirable temperature. An imbalance in the specific quantities will lead to a corresponding imbalance in the Earth's temperature. These gases are created by human activities, use of vehicles, industries, etc. In a study conducted by the scientists, it has been found that there has been an increase in the greenhouse gases since the Industrial Revolution that began in the 18th century. An increase in these in the Earth's atmosphere leads to a proportionate rise in the Earth's temperature. Increase in carbon dioxide emission is caused not only by an increase in the number of motor vehicles, but also by the rise in the industries which use fossil fuels like coal. It is not only rapid industrialization but also a rapid decline in the Earth's forest cover that has resulted in an increase in the Earth's temperature. Besides personal needs, man has started to destroy forest cover for urbanization which has led to decline in the Earth's forest cover. Such inhuman atrocities committed upon nature have spelled havoc on human life and destruction of forests in the name of industrialization has led to an imbalance in the natural ecosystem of different parts of the world.
The green forests are now destroyed for the construction of concrete roads for traffic, urbanization and industrialization. The animals that were sheltered in these forests have now started to move to other habitats in search of safer shelter and food. Many rare species of the animal kingdom are now extinct or is in the path of extinction. At present, many plant and animal species is in the path of extinction due to such activities. The entire human race will have to face the evil consequences of such activities committed by men. The rise in the global temperature seems only to be its beginning. However, man seems unaware even now of the crisis that planet Earth is facing. Despite repeated warnings from scientists at different points of time, human beings still continue with their enterprise of rapid industrialization by destroying forest cover of the planet thereby furthering the menace of global rise in temperature. If corrective measures are not undertaken now, the entire living world comprising of animals, plants and human beings will face the danger of extinction. It is also worth keeping in mind that the resources to save this planet and its living world from extinction have however not come to an end. With the aid of these resources, man now has the responsibility and challenging task of restoring the natural beauty of earth from the dilapidated state that it has fallen into at present. Scientists are of the opinion that correct planning and collective will shall go a long way in rescuing the planet from the evil effects of climate change in not less than 1000 years. Therefore, governments and common men need to work in union and in a specific process to restore the balance in the Earth's atmosphere. We are responsible for the mistakes that we have committed and the responsibility of correcting them therefore lies with ourselves.